So, I got a surprise package in the mail, and it's from Gina. And you may know her as my pink bag. I had just finished um, shooting all the um, items from her mystery lot purchase. So, she sent me a bonus bag. So, let's, uh, I mean, she's, this was a really huge surprise. I did not expect anything um, in addition. So, and this is heavy. This is like four pounds. Gina, what are you doing? Um, all right. So, let's, uh, let's check this out. First off, we have this really pretty, oh my goodness, this is a brown leather snap bracelet. There's two snaps. And it has these beautiful crystals. I mean, gorgeous. Not only on these um, ovals, but also in these little studs going across. And here's the back. It's in very good condition. Now that's pretty. Here we have um, a vintage glass bead necklace. There's a barrel clasp. I mean, just look at these. Wow. The red is so pretty. Um, and there's clear glass beads with the black design inside. And it's strung on a red string. It's hand knotted. I mean, this is, this is a stunner. It's very long. I, hmm, I'm thinking, uh, Opera length. Opera length is like 30 inches because a rope is more like a, a 33 inch. So this is like a, a, yeah, opera length. And then there is a matching bracelet. This bracelet has a spring clasp and there is a jewelry tag and it says Monet. So this is a Monet glass bead, hand knotted necklace with a matching, with a matching bracelet. Next we have these clip-on earrings. I mean, look at these. They have all these swirly designs on top and bottom, kind of like uh, cinnamon buttons. And then you have this uh, knot like a gold knot in the center. They do move, and on the back, they're very uh, textured, like a dot, dot design. And they are clip-ons. Really nice. No, um, no maker's mark that I can see. Nope, but these are swirly, dangly, clip-on earrings. Next pair is this really pretty, like a button style clip-on earring and the center has like this snaky pattern and the sides have these swirly patterns. So these are not heavy and they're not light. So. These are very nice. They're clip-on earrings, and yeah, they would be uh, they would be worn this way. Very pretty. Next, we have this really pretty seat bead bracelet that has two uh, bead closures with the uh, adjustable uh, loops over here with this. Um, clear AB coated seed bead but look at this this is filled with 
semi-precious stone chips. So there's amethyst, there's uh, probably quartz and maybe jadeite. Uh, yeah, this is this is some this is very pretty, very beachy, very very sweet. And it's in beautiful condition. Next we have this gold tone. Very long necklace. And they are faux pearls. Really pretty open work beads. Gorgeous. Crystal encrusted beads. They have those pretty pastel colors. And... It continues in the same pattern going down and it ends in this so this is a very long very long necklace next are these beautiful faux pearl like a moon moon glow stone center and I see blue seed beads on this gold setting. I mean, really pretty. The blue and the gold look so nice together. It's very, um, I don't know, I think of a mermaid. Mermaid. They are clip-on earrings. And this is the back. Very very nice look at that shine this is a brooch it's like a faux amethyst faceted with all these beautiful marquee shaped crystals around there's um this light pink and clear ones the emerald cut stone is prong set as well as these stones and this is the back and I guess with the pin that way I mean there's many ways you can wear this uh, upright on the side but this is a beautiful vintage crystal faux amethyst brooch next we have this uh, gold tone clamper bracelet it seems to be in an oval shape with the, a thicker side uh, as opposed to the other um, it's in fair condition because uh, there are some scratches but you know it's still very nice and wearable this next one is quite a stunner this is a open cuff bracelet and it has this they feel like metal beads on the outer frame I mean just look you could see the uh, the thread this took a lot of time and then right here around this border there's also a setting here that this druzy gold tone stone is placed it is on a bronze um, could be faux leather this is the inside very nice Here we have this gunmetal tone braided necklace. It has a oversized lobster clasp and it ends in a um, jewelry tag. Hellers? Mm, I think that's an H. Paris? Okay, it is in very good condition. It's a 
very, uh, it's very soft on the skin. Very nice. Here's another bracelet. Uh, this is a bangle, a brass, and it has this very pretty design going all around. This is made in India by Two's Company. Bango bracelet. Here we have a, a dyed halite beaded bracelet. It has beads, it has chips, it has little donuts, it's got these ovals. It's got a little bit of everything. It also has these um, pretty bead caps and also seed beads and a seed bead bale holding this nice pretty pendant. So yeah. How light? Beaded necklace. This here is a vintage thermoset necklace. It has the paper clip style chain with a large bead at the end and a hook closure. If you look at this, it's got this gorgeous, really pretty, uh, like a sky blue thermoset color on a silver tone setting. It reminds me of a, a Charelle, which is a company that makes it. This is the back. This is, I must say, this is very, very clean. It's in really good shape. Um, not sure of the size. I mean, I know a collar necklace is about 14 inches and a, and a choker is about 16 inches. But, you know, with the extender, I guess it could be both blue thermoset necklace. This here is a bangle bracelet and it's glass. It has this really cool diamond cut design. It's in like a champagne colored tone. It looks to be in Good condition. Uh, no, I see a chip right there. But otherwise, it's really, uh, it's really pretty. It's unique. I mean, it's, it's just stunning. So, um, if you have any questions with any of the items I'm showing, just uh, just email me, dragonflybees at gmail.com. This is a champagne colored glass bangle. Found another bangle and this one I will test for, um, to see if it's semi-precious, but I also noticed like some sort of bubble here so, you know, this may be glass, mm -hmm, but it's still very pretty. It's, it's a nice, uh, thin, slim size. Here we have this really pretty necklace. I'll bring it closer so you can see the beads are like that forest green with a lot of uh, black variations going through it. Uh, it has these really pretty, pretty bead caps all along the length of the necklace. It's quite heavy. I will... What do you think these uh, stones are? It has a oversized lobster clasp and a, and a ring. 
but overall this is this is a very pretty semi precious stone necklace Next up, uh, there's some brooches. This one here is a brushed silver tone. Let's see. Leaves. Let's see. There is a um, maker's mark and it says Monet. So this is a Monet brooch, silver tone. I kind of see a bird. You know, like, this is the beak, and here's the head, and here's the the feathers. But I may be wrong. Next is, uh, hmm, maybe a, a leaf with the faux pearls. Very pretty. This one also has a maker's mark. Uh, this is AK, so I believe that's uh, Anne Klein. This is an Anne Klein gold tone brooch. And then here is this textured silver tone plate with smooth ziggly lines going around. Oh, it's this way. <laughs> okay, it's this way. I see a... Um, a uh, pendant hook uh, and, a, and a pin so this is a pendant brooch it can be worn on a chain or as a brooch and this one says this is Sarah Coventry next up is this beautiful gold tone double link very heavy necklace and a matching bracelet. They each have spring ring class closures. Here you can take a closer look. There is no um, maker's mark, but this is very, very nice. Here's the bracelet, matching bracelet, very, it's a very nice set. Next up is this really super, 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 super long necklace. It has uh, gold tone tubes and then in between are all these multicolor beads. And uh, it continues on and on and on. I mean, this is, a, I believe, rope length. <laughs> um, let's see. Opera length is 30 inches. Rope length is like 33 inches, I think. So this is really very, very long. It's in great condition. So let's look at the end. I see a lobster clasp and a jewelry tag. Let me guess. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess Monet. It says Monet. Now how do I know that Gina, Gina? Gina, Gina. Thank you, Gina, for this uh, bonus bonus bag. And this is a Monet very long gold tone beaded necklace. This here is uh, I like this. It's a uh, different bars and they have like a rope design in each one. And then you have this pendant on the bottom that has these crystals. It, I guess it was gold tone and there was some fading, but it does give it quite some character. Uh, here is a fold over clasp at the 
and a lot of twisting. So let's take a look at it closer. There you go, there's the pendant I was talking about. That's the back. And here are those bars with the rope design in the center. There you go. This is a very pretty semi-precious um, necklace with a very awesome toggle clasp and faceted beads with these really pretty decorative spacers in between. You have these dangly things at the end, but this pendant is really pretty. It's a faceted uh, teardrop. I'll look at it closer. See? I love these colors. I mean, these are so pretty. Thank you, Gina. And there you go. I'll test and, um, yeah, this is it's a very pretty necklace. Next, we have this uh, faux pearl necklace. I mean, this color is gorgeous. It's that blue. It's not navy. It's not cobalt. It's not sky. But it's just a really awesome blue color with these silver tone spacers. And then at the end, you have this really pretty toggle clasp that has a heart. And the heart is made up of hearts. And then you have this bar which is um, decorative as well. So this is a nice, very pretty toggle necklace. Here we have a silver tone necklace. It's more like a satiny silver tone finish. It is a double chain. The inner chain has this uh, I guess kind of like a Greek key motif. And if you notice, the outer chain is made up of heart-shaped links. And then you have all these dangling things here. Little seed beads, a couple crystals, um, little seed pearls. And then you have this, uh, this pendant. This pendant is almost looks like a butterfly. Um, there are rhinestones all around and they look to be intact. Here's the uh, lobster class, a little, a little wear. Here's the extender with the cap at the end. Yeah, this is a very cute, cute necklace. I, I like the uh, the fact that the the chain is made up of heart-shaped links. Next are these black and white uh, earrings, drop earrings, with a hook. They seem to be brand new, very good condition. Next item we have is this uh, vintage pair of clip-on earrings. They're gold tone with the black rhinestones all around and they are all there they are clip-on earrings this is the back and I gotta say that they're, they're, they're a little on the heavy side but there you go Next up, we have this really beautiful, semi-precious uh, stone bracelet with um, lime green 
bicone beads and chips and silver spacers along with this faceted bar. Um, it's held by this mechanism where you pop it out and you just slide it back in. Next we have this um, kind of like an ID bracelet. This feels like um, tubing. There is a hook type of closure and a safety clasp. Um, this plate is uh, something that I guess you can have engraved. It just... Um, it was in a bag that said 925. So this is something uh, I'll test and uh, I'll let you know. Here's a brooch, gold tone setting, like a filigree, scrolly type of design. This feels um, plastic to me. And that's the back. Next up, we have this pendant. This um, could be tin or aluminum. Um, it has this very pretty engraved plate on top. And then you have these dangling teardrop shape. And even some black ones. And this, uh, this bead in the center. So in the back, that's what it looks like. Here you go. This is a pair of vintage clip-on earrings that are absolutely gorgeous. They are crystal dangling drop earrings with, um, let's see, there's square cut crystals on top. And here you have uh, baguettes and then there's a pear shape or teardrop shape along with all the little round ones underneath and this is the back silver tone setting very pretty very pretty Vintage crystal clip-on earrings. Here we have this beautiful, um, this could be Mother of Pearl, framed in this silver frame. Uh, there is a twisty silver chain, which is quite long. And this looks silver to me. It does say 925 Italy on both sides. It says 925 Italy here and Italy over here. It has a spring clasp. This is really, this is very pretty. Gina, thank you so very much. As you can see, I'm filming in front of the window, and it's really cloudy out there. It's um, it's kind of kind of a dreary day. So, I'm on the east coast. Gina's on the west coast. East coast meets west coast. And here's the next item I found, all the way from the west coast. It is a pendant with a fish. And uh, I guess it's in the ocean. And that could be like a little house. And the other side has some very, um, uh, how could I say, uh, archaic Chinese characters. And they translate into um, 
wishes. So, not sure what this material is, but I will find out. Wishes. Wishes. I wish it was sunny here, like where Gina is. Wow, wow, wow. Isn't this a beautiful vintage brooch? It is nice big faux pearl with these marquee shaped crystals. And then you have these round ones on top, another marquee shaped one behind, an AB coated rhinestone on top with these curvy little gold tone leaves. No maker's mark, but there's a pin. I guess I could straighten that out a little. But yeah, that's a beautiful vintage um, floral, faux pearl brooch. This is some, there's so many items here I I, I could list in my Etsy shop since uh, that that's only um, vintage related items. Next up is this silver tone. Uh, I guess there's separate little panels with black crosses on them. It's a toggle bracelet. There's a little cross charm hanging off the end. That's the back. And back to the front. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are just uh, enamel crosses, but uh, it has a decorative um, toggle clasp, and uh, there you have it. Down the home stretch, I think there's a couple more items. Um, this is a pin. I believe it's antique, and uh, there's missing some stones, but maybe if I have them, I'll replace them. Uh, I don't normally repair jewelry, but I do keep... Um, I do keep things that are on like the bottom of those Goodwill blue boxes that um, I get, I hopefully can get every week. But yeah, this will probably go into a craft lot. Here we have this, uh, wow. You see, uh, there's all these little crystals and they look to be, they look to be intact. This is a very pretty open work heart pendant. Okay. There is a mark in there. And um, I really can't make that out. But if you, if you're familiar with that maker's uh, mark, the name, let me know. This is a very pretty um, pendant, open work heart pendant. And this is the last item in my surprise bonus mystery lot that I received from Gina, AKA my pink bag. This is a really adorable pendant. It could be nephrite or jadeite. It has this uh, carved leaf and um, pearls. Could be real, could be faux on a gold tone uh, setting. This is the back. It's just really adorable. Nope. Found something else. This was in the bottom of the uh, bag. It's a pair of uh, Kate Craft drop earrings. Beautiful bronzy color with the purple decorative. Uh, I think they're glass. Glass beads on the bottom. They're hook earrings. So, yep. And then, this is actually the bottom of the bag. Something broke in transit, so these things will go into a craft lot. So that 
completes this video. I want to thank Gina. Thank you, Gina, for this, um, this great bonus um, jewelry lot. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy creating it for you. Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, ring the bell if you would like to be alerted for whenever I post um, new content. So thanks, everybody. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.